Patients on natalizumab are at risk for PML. The incidence of PML is lowest from dose number one to approximately dose 18 to 24. We tell patients this risk is about 0.3 out of 1,000. At approximately 24 to 36 doses of natalizumab, the increased risk goes up to about one out of 1,000. At this time, we monitor patients about once every three months and obtain MRIs once every six months. These numbers are shifting as our experience increases. While on the infusion therapy, I had several severe flare-ups where I had no energy whatsoever. I had trouble walking up and down the steps. The numbness in my legs had increased all the way up to my waist and we were afraid that I had come down with PML. We needed to do several tests, MRIs, um, and blood work to try to verify and rule out that I did not have PML. Um, it was a very scary time. A patient with PML typically presents very similar to multiple sclerosis. This causes um, some difficulties for the neurologists as well as the emergency medicine docs as well. PML presents with symptoms such as weakness, uh, ataxia, certain visual disturbances such as anopsia or hemianopsia, speech difficulties, and often cognition can be affected as well with PML. I remember my first PML scare and the doctor wrote the prescription for the MRI and she wrote STAT on the MRI. and. That made me a little nervous, or a lot nervous, and it made it very real that PML was something that was to be reckoned with.